Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, a channel which talks about everyday finance for everyday people. Today I thought I would share with you the three simple steps I take each week to save money on my groceries. These steps stop me spending a fortune in the shops by simply planning before I spend. But before I get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe. So we all know how it starts. You head to the shop and grab any and everything. Get sucked in by all the offers and get to the till and then you find out you've spent double the amount. It's never a nice feeling. Or maybe you bought your groceries but nothing's quite appealing. You don't know what to eat each night and you find yourself ordering takeaways or heading back to the shop two days later. So what can we do to prevent that happening? Here's three simple steps I take each week to ensure I save money on my groceries. Step number one, inventory. Before each shop, have a browse of all your cupboards. Check to see you have all the essentials such as milk, bread, or maybe even pasta and chicken. Start thinking about the ingredients you have and see what meals you can make with them. Do you have some mints that need to be used? If so, what can you make to avoid this going to waste? Step number two, meal plan. Now you've created a list of all your essential items you need to buy. Next meal plan. Consider what's happening over the next seven days in your diary and list some meals to suit this. If you're busy for a couple of days, be realistic. Grab some ingredients to help you make a quick and easy meal on these particular days. List down seven meals you're excited to eat and if you can't think of seven, head to a recipe book, head to Pinterest or Instagram and find some new recipe ideas. I I always find there's a direct link between getting takeaways and appealing meals. Step number three, now you have your inventory and your meal plan, time to finalise the shopping list. Add all the items you need each week, all the essentials that is, then add all the ingredients you need for each recipe. Be sure to check your kitchen cupboards first so that you are only buying what you need. Once you've done this, write the amount next to each item. How much is the juice? How much is the apples? The rice? Total it all up. Once you've totaled it up, you should have a rough figure of what to work towards. And whilst shopping, you can bear this goal in mind. This will help avoid all the tempting offers whilst walking around the shop. So there we have it, three simple steps I take each week to help keep my grocery bills down. It's worked wonders and at a later date I will share with you three lists I use to save even more money on my groceries each month. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Bye.